Hello, my Farmer Money family. Welcome back to another video. Happy Friday. Uh, happy weekend up ahead. Memorial Day weekend. Hope everyone's got some great plans planned out. Uh, where I'm at right now, it's uh, 50 degrees and it's raining uh, in Chicago. So um, that's what I'm dealing with. But I hope, uh, you know, all my viewers that are out there in some nice sunny weather get to uh, enjoy some of that sun this weekend and get to get outside, right? Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a company that's been on my radar for a while, and I've been wanting to make a video on it. It's Gap uh, and the turnaround for this clothing company that's up ahead, right? So obviously, uh, the brick and mortar business took, a, took quite a hit last year with COVID, but uh, their online presence has definitely increased as long with the physical store presence from that standpoint. So uh, we're going to dive in, uh, take a look at their first quarter numbers as well. So I'm going to talk about their earnings and uh, where I see you know, this kind of going from that standpoint. I mean, shoppers are turning definitely to Old Navy and Athleta to refresh their wardrobes for the summer. Um, you know, Gap's namesake banner in North America has already shown signs of improvement and e-commerce is growing, growing, growing. So let's dive in. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, they do take a lot of time. So please like and subscribe. Thanks so much. So far, more money family. Gap came out this past Thursday with it with its fiscal first quarter results, right? And basically, they raised its their sales outlook for the full year uh, in total. So you know, from that standpoint, they had a great, great you know earnings report. Uh, they did a nice job, kind of showcasing where they're headed, and you know what their big, big plans are for the future and where they see their company kind of going from here, right? So pandemic happened, obviously they took a massive, massive hit, but uh, Gap said on Thursday, it's fiscal first quarter sales surpassed pre-pandemic levels, which is phenomenal. And so, you know, th these are things that we want to see uh, from a company like Gap also from that standpoint. So uh, I already talked about it. They raised their full outlook or their sales guidance for the rest of the year. And I think that's pretty cool from that standpoint. Uh, you know, the fact that the company said that 80% of its sales are coming from outside of the traditional shopping mall is also key. So it's either online, it's in strip centers or from street level locations. So, uh, you know, they're going to continue to face supply chain challenges as well as, you know, how to source raw materials. But from the overall perspective, uh, very exciting outlook on this company. And let's keep going. Farmer Money family, some Quick financial highlights from their earnings report, right? So net sales were up 89% versus 2020 and up 8% versus 2019. Net sales growth in the quarter reflects a negative 7% point impact from COVID-related and strategic store closures due to COVID or, remember, riots were occurring as well last summer. So that's also part of that, you know, formula. Online sales grew 61% versus 2020 and 82% versus 2019. Phenomenal. Comparable sales were up 28% versus 2020 and up 13% versus 2019. All in all, they raised their full year guidance for sales, operating margin, and earnings per share. Slam dunk, guys. This is awesome. A company that can come out and straight up just tell you, hey, we're, this is where we're going to be at, you know, nine months from now. I love it. You know, this is what it's about. So let's keep going. Right, Farmer Money family. So let's take a look and deep dive into their quarter one 2021 net sales growth across five of their known brands that they've got under the family or the umbrella, right? So Gap Incorporated posted a positive 89% uh, year over year sales trend. Old Navy came in at 120% in the green and in the positive. Gap posted a positive 69% uh, net sales growth. Banana Republic posted a positive 35% net sales growth, and then Athleta posted a 69% positive sales growth. So just phenomenal numbers from, from that standpoint. And their CEO, Sonia, was, was quoted as saying, while active and fleece continue to soar, we saw a resurgence in summer fashion with dresses rebounding, showing that customers are emerging from the crisis, wanting to express their style without sacrificing the comfort and digital convenience they've been accustomed to. So very cool stuff from that standpoint. Farmer Money family, let's take a look at their revenue breakdown for Q1 earnings, right? So higher margin, Old Navy and Athleta are 66% of company sales and on a path to 70% by 2023. Highly attractive online strip and street locations are about 80% of the company's sales. Overall, total revenue 
grew to $3.99 billion from $2.11 billion a year earlier. So basically almost $4 billion versus $2 billion last year. So basically a 50% year over year bump in revenue, right? When we think about it, the retail stores were all shut down for an extended period of time due to the COVID pandemic. Uh, this topped a estimate of $3.4 billion that Wall Street had set, had set for earnings. So, you know, just phenomenal, phenomenal stuff from that standpoint. And the fact that, you know, they came out and just absolutely smashed, you know, revenue uh, really showcases that this company is primed for another run uh, in the future. And it'll continue on that from a long position standpoint. Let's take a look at basically the overall you know, reach of Gap and the Gap family, right? All five brands. So they obviously have Omni Strength in North America and are partnering to amplify that reach to the entire world. Currently, they have 62 million active customers globally as of the end of Q1 2021. Greater than 60% increase in new online customers acquired versus last year, which makes sense with the pandemic, all the store closures, physical stores being closed down, brick and mortar kind of limiting, you know, capacity and space. Everybody reached for the online side of things. And so that, that, that is expected right from that standpoint. 5.4 million people enrolled into their multi-tender loyalty program in Q1 2021. And I think this is a cool piece as well is the loyalty piece. The fact that you can get that many people to continue to join and, and, and stay uh, with the brands, that's important, right? Loyalty is a huge piece and that retention piece is key for any business to grow. And the fact that they've got 5.4 million people that are enrolled into that multi-tender loyalty program, that's just phenomenal as well from that standpoint. And I can't wait to see where Gap expands its reach from here. Old Navy, I'm sure many of you, you know, probably even have shopped at or, or shop at. Uh, it's one of those brands that continues to grow. I see more and more people walking into Old Navy stores or just, you know, uh, talking about how they you know bought something recently from there so uh, i think that's really unique and cool and a great opportunity for gap to really set themselves apart while watching the quarter one earnings presentation by gap i thought it was really cool the fact that they highlighted their social impact and environmental impact in the current state of affairs and world that we're in and i think this is going to be a very important piece as more companies tend to pivot and focus on highlighting some of these features in their earnings presentations or even talking about it right from that standpoint. Uh, I thought it was really unique. So let's dive in. Environmentally, what is Gap doing? So they saved 11.2 billion liters of water in manufacturing since 2017. Very cool. 65% diversion rate of plastic waste across stores and distribution centers. Again, fantastic. And, and then the fact that they've got a wind project that's coming. Uh, online here shortly. Again, fantastic. Socially, they're ranked 100% in HRC's Corporate Equality Index uh, for the 15th year in a row. 90 92% of suppliers using digital wage payments support financial inclusion in the garment industry. Again, cool. And the fact that greater than 800,000 women and girls reach through their PACE program, which is kind of like this mentorship program and leadership and development program, right, that they've got going on um, with quite a widespread reach. Very unique. In terms of governance, the fact that six of 13 directors are women, again, the, it's just a cool feature that they've, or cool piece of information that they highlighted. Annual global sustainability sustainability reports, uh, they've been very upfront with all their disclosures from the get-go. And then they've got a regular board and committee oversight, including governance and sustainability committee that oversees a lot of this stuff. So Guys, this is absolutely phenomenal. And the fact that Gap highlighted this on their earnings call, very cool. So Farmer Money family, so as Gap hunts for future growth, right, it's going to continue to increasingly find it outside of traditional shopping malls, right? And that we've seen with the, the online impact just because of COVID. And, you know, we're even seeing that trickle out even, you know, as we move into this summer, you know, a lot of that online business is not going anywhere. Uh, the company had announced last fall that it plans to shut about 350 of its Gap and Banana Republic locations in North America by the end of fiscal 2023. A lot of those, though, were inside giant, you know, shopping malls. As part of that roadmap, Gap said this past Thursday it will only close 75 of those underperforming shops this year. So they're kind of changing their tune a little bit, too, from that standpoint. The retailer is now calling for adjusted earnings to be in a range of $1.60 to $1.75 per share this year, with net sales rising in the low to mid 20% range from 2020. 
previously it was looking for mid to high teens percentage sales growth. So the fact that it already moved into the 20 percentile range, fantastic for Gap from that standpoint and for its, you know, stockholders or shareholders. Gap noted, however, that it does, you know, the outlook does not include any potential impacts from the ongoing strategic review of its European business. While COVID related store closures overseas and port congestion remain headwinds from that standpoint, analysts have been looking for fiscal 2021 earnings per share of $1.38 with sales growing 17% year over year. Gap will also soon be moving into Walmart's big box stores with the launch of a brand new home brand and Gap's highly anticipated clothing collaboration with rapper Kanye West on a line called Yeezy Gap is is expected to debut later this year. So guys, all in all, just phenomenal news for Gap and where it's headed from that standpoint. Through partnerships, they can also expand you know, the reach of their brand to customers. So very unique, uh, just exciting stuff. You know, overall, you know, this past week, Gap shares closed up about 2% overall um, for the week. And the stock has risen 74% year to date. So, you know, it's put its market cap around somewhere around 14 billion. So from my standpoint, I think Gap has a ton of room to run. Again, always do your own due diligence, your own DD, and, you know, before making any sort of decisions from that standpoint. The purpose of this video is just to more so to recap its quarter one earnings and where they're headed. Uh, and I think that that promise for the future is very bright for Gap. And I do see the stock potentially, you know, running up even 10% or 20% uh, over the rest of this year uh, and really, you know, uh, providing that juice back to their, their shareholders from that standpoint. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe as well from that standpoint. Thank you so much. If you've enjoyed this video, if you did, please go ahead and hit the like button and please do subscribe. Turn on your notifications as videos are going to continue to pour in as we move forward through 2021. Uh, this is going to be the road and journey to wealth and to just massive portfolio returns as we move forward. Thanks, everyone.